I have no fucking words. No fucking words. Shut up. Alana Boy, she's my first girlfriend. First, first love. That crow. First everything, right? Just best friend. I've known her for... And I, I love this girl, right? Okay, so, uh... I have never in my entire life endured so much fucking stupid. We were exclusive for three years. We were in an open relationship for a while, which was really weird. A club, you know, dancing with all the girls, and then by major fluke, there's Alana. Hey, how's it going? I'm like, oh, hey, Alana. I'm dancing intimately with these girls. I'm like, she stole the spotlight. This girl is fucking beautiful, right? Fuck these girls. Or don't fuck these girls. I'm gonna go dance with Alana. So I go and you know we start intimately dancing and kissing and all that kind of stuff. And she's being all shy. I'm like, what the fuck, shut up. Uh, I'm like, you know, I've never danced with her before. Really, here she is. Let's, let's fucking dance. You know, don't be shy. It's a club. She's weird. I want to get her out of her shell. Like, let's just, you know, I mean, we're like kissing and, but she wanted to get away. It was, it was confusing. So she was like, I'm gonna go hang out with my friends now. I'm like, okay. I was like, we're gonna dance later, right? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Later never came, you know. Next thing you know, I see her with uh, some fucking asshole. His arm is around her, right? I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? He, she ditches me to hang out with some random guy. I mean, I know we're in an open relationship, but that's insulting. You shut up. So my feelings were hurt, right? I'm like, I go over there and I'm like, I'm gonna, fuck, fuck you, buddy. I'm gonna get her away from you. She's. I don't, I don't give a fuck. She can fuck other guys away from me. She's like shy, right? I'm trying to get her away from this guy. I'm like, come on, Alana, come on, let's go dance. And you know, I, I, I'm showing this guy, she's mine. You know, start like kissing her and stuff, and like, and I, th I thought she was being shy. I wanted you shut the, the damn. Okay, uh, wanted to get her out of, out of her shell. You know, it's she's not. I'm like, what the fuck, you know? This fucking guy, his arm around is around her. What the fuck? You're gonna betray me for this random fag? Next thing you know, fucking bouncers kick me out. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm fucking go bad shit, fucking insane. Fucking yelling outside, please come and talk to me. I take a taxi, go to her house, fucking climb over the gate, knock on her door. I'm like, what the fuck, fuck, fuck? She's like, uh, I was on a date, and I'm like, He was your date. He wasn't some random guy that was flirting with you. You couldn't have told me this? Oh, I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Were we not in an open relationship? Hello? Had she said, I'm actually on a date, I would have been like, okay. The whole thing would have been avoided. Giant misunderstanding. I was drunk, it was noisy, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I thought she was just being shy. I made a complete fool out of myself and she happened to be with her friends and with her date and I'd never met those friends before. I thought she was by herself with this random guy and like everyone else around her were just like strangers or but no, she was with her friends. I made a complete fool out of myself in front of everyone and yeah, I, we patched that up, then I'm like, no, 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 fuck you, or don't fuck you, because I am sick and tired of this open relationship bullshit. No, I want to be just friends. And she's like, oh, how come you don't want to sleep with me? Am I ugly? Mwah, mwah. We've been friends for so long, we don't have to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Mwah, mwah. And that's all she would talk about. I'm like, let's change the subject. Way, way, way. And I'm like, <sighs> I want it to be just friends. I, it just, the open relationship thing just didn't work. Then eventually I was like, okay, fine, fine, fine. All right, but no more open relationship, just me and you. We're gonna be in a closed relationship again. That's it. She's like, okay, fine, I promise, I promise. I will only sleep with you. I don't even want to kiss other guys. She's like crying like begging and then I'm like okay fine but just me and you that's it so we promised each other to only sleep with each other and that closed our relationship and therefore we became boyfriend and girlfriend without the titles I was happy I was like okay problem solved I had recently moved close to her like a 10 minute walk away oh, no. I hate humans wait for the human Dog to go.
were fucking humans. I refused, but she kept bugging me and bugging me, and then I felt bad, and then I was like, okay, fine, but just you and me. So I believed her. A few days later, guess what? All right, Lana has a tagged account, and so do I. Tagged is a dating site. Lana was like my only friend on Tagged, and I linked my tagged account on my uh, YouTube channel. Then this troll, Sheep man? I guess the troll goes to my channel and hey, what's this? Let's check out this link. Go, oh, it's uh, a dating site called Tagged. It only has one friend. Alana! Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, Alana reviewed two games on my channel God of War 2 and Bioshock. Well, the box art for those games. Anyway, she's kind of known on YouTube. The troll's like, let's test Game Dude's girlfriend's loyalty! Starts smacking on her and then screen caps the conversation, sends it to me on Facebook. I'm reading it and I'm in utter fucking disbelief at this fucking shit. Utter disbelief. Okay, the guy is like, beautiful girl like you should have been snatched up a long time ago. And then, you know, guess what, uh, Lana's like, Oh, no, no, then he's like, uh, want to make out sometime this week? Okay. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, baby, want to make out? Okay. utter fucking disbelief gets worse. He's like, wanna make love in my house after coffee this Friday? Two days away. She essentially says, okay. Cause you know, that's not dangerous at all. Some random guy, a troll. I mean, like how empty was his profile? Probably only had like one picture. She didn't know? Now maybe she's fucking trolling this guy, you know? What's your phone number? She gives him her phone number. Are you fucking kidding me? And then she's like, uh, let's meet at Starbucks at four o'clock. Okay, shit just got fucking real. How many guys do you meet on a tag? She's like two? That's a lie. How many guys do you fuck in the last four months? She's like, one. Are you good at giving blowjobs? What the f you? What the fuck? Shut up. What? What the f Okay, so, uh, yeah, will I be the hottest guy you ever fucked? She's like, probably not. Wow, honesty. How many guys have you fucked that are hotter than I? Uh, maybe two. This girl has no self-value at all whatsoever, and I feel fucking bad for this girl. Cause how sad must you be to be like that, you know? It blows my fucking mind. Then he's like, how many guys gave you an orgasm? She's like, only one. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, that's besides the point. Then he's like, babe, tonight? I'm gonna be giving you multiple orgasms. What do you think about that? She's like, sounds good. It's the most unrealistic, fucked up conversation I have ever fucking seen. Like, what the fuck? It's funny. People don't think it's real. It's like some Saturday Night Live script or something from Mad TV. Like, I want this shit turned into a live action comedy piece. It's just, it's so fucked up, unreal. What? the fuck is wrong with this girl that happens to be my first love of four years? I went batshit fucking insane. Bat. I print that conversation. I go to that Starbucks. Four o'clock, right on time. Guess who I see? Alana. <laughs> yep. Sitting down, waiting. I waltz right in there. I drop the conversation. I say this ends our friendship. I walk out. I wish that was the end. But no, because I'm a fucking retard consumed by my own emotions. So much confusion, so much hate, so much love. I went bat shit 
fucking insane calling, 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 calling some guy. Okay, the guy she was gonna meet isn't real. He's a fucking troll, trolling her. Like, what the fuck? So he never showed up. Then a real guy picks up the phone. Lana doesn't want to talk to you. I just want to talk to her. Just I'm, I'm her boyfriend. No, you're not. You're just a friend. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna fuck her tonight, buddy. As if that's gonna make me stop calling. They keep hanging up, hanging up. I, I keep calling, calling. Finally, Alana picks up the phone and I say, you promised me. Just you and me. She's like, oh, I only said that because you were bugging me. You know, there's only so much stupid a fucking man can endure before he fucking goes batshit fucking insane. What the mother? You were bugging me. Oh, by refusing to sleep with you, that was bugging you. So, you lied to fuck me. You wanted to sleep with me while continuing to secretly sleep with every other guy on this planet. I can't escape this fucking planet. I want to leave this fucking planet. She did not have my consent she lied. Had I known the truth, I would not have touched her. So, sexual assault, rape, by deception, <gasps> you shut up. I don't know. What the fuck are they doing, those crows? I don't know. Okay, all, maybe in fucking like Tennessee or California, but Hey, I wouldn't have, had I known the truth, I wouldn't have touched her. She did not have my consent. You take that for what it is. Okay. She took advantage of my trust, total betrayal. You guys, shut up! <sighs> my best, and this is for a year first love, my fucking best friend did this to me. Like, what the fuck? That fucked me up so much. You f and cheating on me with a perverted internet stranger. Her first two letters cheated on me. Okay, no loyalty, no self-value, like no dignity, no self-respect, no respect for me. The guy was like, any feelings for that guy? Me? No. Lie. Sleeping with anyone at the moment? No. Lie. She wanted everyone to not know that she was sleeping with everyone. She wanted to keep the whole thing secret to herself. She did not have to keep it secret to me, you know why? Because part of the agreement was that we we're gonna inform each other if we're gonna fuck someone. And I was calling before I saw her, right? I gave her the chance to tell me. Had she sent me a text message, hey Alex, I'm gonna fuck this guy, I would've been like, okay, nothing. All behind my back. Ah, oh, now she's gonna fuck the worst guy in the world, she's gonna fuck every guy in the world. Because if you're gonna eat the worst apple in the barrel, you're gonna eat all the apples in the barrel. It's logic. And then after I saw the conversation, she still wanted to fuck me because I was like, we can only be just friends. And then she was like, oh, but what, what, what if I want to be more than just friends? So therefore, she was going to fuck him, then me, then someone else, then me, then someone else, then me, then someone else. Meanwhile, I'm thinking she's loyal, but she's not at all. She could have gotten an STD, given it to me. So because of her lie, she risked my health for her selfish desires. That makes me sick. She has 10,000 profile views. Are you telling me this guy was just like, want to make out? She was like, okay, you're, you're telling me she never cheated on me before? How could I ever trust her again? How can I trust anyone again? How many guys is she playing games with? I wanted to resolve 
everything because I wanted to understand everything and I guess I thought in order to understand everything I had to resolve everything so I had to bottle fucking Satan